Good morning. Another day, another creative activity. As you can see, we're back in the kitchen. And today I'm going to show you how to scramble some eggs without using the stove. And uh, before we do that, we can't cook without some music. So let's put on a record. Okay, record of the day is by my pal Tom Brousseau. I first heard Tom Brousseau's music years ago from my friend Matt Levash and then from my buddy Garrett Stewart. I didn't really understand the music or appreciate it. It took me many years to find it on my own and I actually ended up liking different music by Tom. This is one of my favorite albums. It's called Perfect Abandon. Side A is one of my favorite sides of any record ever made. I'm gonna take the record out. We're gonna get it on the turntable. Ooh, it's a little dusty. Call me the hard luck boy. People wonder why I'm a hard luck boy. All right, we've got our eggs here. They're happy eggs. And we've got ourselves a mug. We're gonna be scrambling the eggs in a mug and it's going to be going in the microwave. No stove required. And what we're going to do here is we're going to crack it on the edge of this cup, this mug. And we're going to hold on to the shell and let the egg fall into the cup. It's kind of an art form to crack an egg without making a mess. Here it goes. One, two, three. Now I'm going to open the egg with my hand and the egg fell right in the cup. Shake out the excess and throw it in the trash. Egg number two, I'm a hungry guy. You ready to crack it with me? Get your egg out, get your cup ready. One, two, three. Open the egg shell. That's all there is to it. Okay, most people like to add butter to their eggs. I'm gonna add butter later to the toast. So I am gonna add a little avocado oil. I love this stuff. I get it at Grocery Outlet. I go through quite a bit of it. This bottle's fairly new, but it's almost a quarter of the way gone. I'm gonna give a little splash of avocado oil. Maybe one more since I like it so much. And now we're gonna get a fork. All right, I've got my fork, and I'm gonna give it a good stir. How much you stir is up to you. I actually like it not mixed up that much. Some people like it stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. All right, it's time to microwave. We've got our eggs in our mug, and the mug is going in the microwave. Close it up. Set it for 45 seconds. You might want to ask for help with this. 45 seconds and start. All right, not quite done. We're gonna take the eggs out of the microwave very carefully. Remember, what's inside of there is really hot. So lift it slowly and stir. All right, stirred it up. It's going back in there. We're gonna give it another 30 seconds. All right, it might look a little funny because it's been cooked in a mug, but I'll tell you one thing, it's gonna taste delicious. All right, next step, what are we gonna put the eggs on? I think sourdough toast sounds good. You can pick the bread of your choice. I'll be right back. I really like toasted bread. Did you know that you can keep bread in the freezer so it doesn't go bad? And then you can pull a slice off, throw it in the toaster oven, and you'll never even know it was frozen. Let's turn on our toaster oven and pick out a slice of bread. I'm gonna do just one slice. Frozen solid. Put that in the toaster oven. 
If you don't have a toaster oven, put your bread in the regular toaster and set it for low. You don't want your toast to come out too dark. You're probably gonna not like the way that tastes. Looks delicious. All right, we're taking the toast out of the toaster oven. We're putting it on a plate. It's nice and golden brown. I like very lightly toasted, so some people might think that's barely toasted at all. Next, we're gonna take just a little bit more butter. And we're gonna butter the bread just a little bit more. Not too much, or it's gonna be a wet, buttery mess. All right, we're gonna take our egg out of our microwave, and we're gonna put it on the toast. It might look kind of funny. It kind of looks like a slice of pineapple, but it's gonna taste delicious. Next up, I'm gonna add some guacamole that I made last night. Might look disgusting, but it tastes delicious. This is avocado mixed with avocado oil and just a little bit of salt. When I was a kid, I thought it was disgusting, but as I've gotten older, I really love it. All right, we're almost there. Ooh, I almost lost it. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper and my favorite, a pinch of salt. I pinched some salt there between my fingers, and now I'm gonna let it fall on the toast and the egg and the avocado. All right, I think I'm gonna have a little cottage cheese on the side. I've got some cottage cheese, which I don't have very often. I like to get it once in a while because it reminds me of my grandmother. I don't know why. I'm not even sure if she made me cottage cheese when I was a kid. But I associate cottage cheese with her. I never really knew my dad's mother, my grandmother. She died when I was just a little kid. So I only have a few vague memories. And for some reason, cottage cheese is one of them. Just a little cottage cheese. And I'm a pepper person, so it's getting a little pepper on it, too. All right, we're just about done. All we've got to do is find a nice, comfortable place to eat it. It's really good. Yay! Roll along with me.